This is Dan Jenkins. He works with Smith Electric, the Tanfield Group. And I've spoken to him in the past, actually, because we've always been interested in what he's doing with the vans. Generally, you know, the Smith Electric vans, you've seen them in Sainsbury's and stuff. This technology today has been announced they've done a time with Ford. That's right. We've, uh, this is our very first foray into passenger vehicles. We uh, developed a battery electric version of the Ford Transit Connect van, which we uh, launched at the Commercial Vehicle Show in the UK last year, 2007, sorry, 2008. And it's effectively the same chassis envelope that you've got, you see before you here in the Torneo Connect, which is the passenger version. So it's been a very, a f well, a fairly simple process for us to translate that van technology into our first passenger vehicle. Let's have a look at it then. So it really is a passenger vehicle. I mean, it look, it's, sort of, it's a commercial chassis at the moment, but the amazing thing about this car is, if I come round and just show it to everyone, just come back a bit, is that it's actually a five-seater. It's a proper five-seater EV. Yes, this is a... Initially, we're looking at people like um, taxis, for example, hotel shuttles, airport shuttles, those kind of people. So it was, it's still in the commercial vehicle world, but then obviously the end game, the ideal end game, would be to get this on four courts so that the general public can purchase it. Price? Well, at the moment, this is still a concept vehicle, so was, it's an idea. We think it's... Uh, we think there's a significant amount of latent demand, but we need to do the correct market research first before we can see whether there really is an addressable market. If, if we sit down with Ford and do the market research and decide it's a viable product, we should be able to um, productionise it very quickly because we've already done, done all the hard work on the van technology. So if you look at the, um, the van version of this, uh, the Ford Transit Connect, the electric version is about £35,000 sterling, so it's almost to the penny twice as expensive as the diesel equivalent. Um, the principal reason for that is obviously is the, is the battery technology cost. Right, OK. And what are the batteries? The, we use lithium iron iron phosphate batteries. Really, uh, lithium which, iron. No yes. worries about heat or anything like that. No, absolutely not. The iron phosphate part of that chemistry uh, makes it extremely uh, stable. It's very inert, so there's no safety issues in terms of uh, vans on fire screaming down the uh, <laughs> the road. Good. Spay um, charge time. It's Top between. Uh, this will do. Uh, 100 miles full range, which is about 160 kilometres. Top speed is about 70 miles an hour, which is 113 kilometres per hour. Uh, it's three-phase charger, as you can see here, but we can also supply it as a single phase, so you can plug it in in your garage at home. And how long will it take to charge? On a three-phase charger, you're looking at a maximum of about six to eight hours from, a, from completely flat. And a, can you charge it domestically at all? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we supply, we already supply um, domestic charging facilities because it's got an onboard charger the charges all the charging infrastructure is built in which you don't get with some other electric vehicles so it literally is plug and play you can pull it up anywhere and plug it in if you've got it on domestic charge what are you going to be looking at you're looking at significantly longer time but if you if you're plugging it in overnight you should still be able to get a, get a good um, full charge into the vehicle in that sort of period okay good maintenance on the battery no, it's, uh, most of the vehicle itself is uh, maintenance free. There's only a handful of moving parts in the drivetrain. So there's a battery management system in there that's very sophisticated. And we um, have a diagnostic so we can plug in a laptop if there's any issues with the vehicle and we can uh, read very quickly okay. what's, what problems they are and solve them. Yeah, okay. And you, um, so you're going to have a kind of battery maintenance disposal of batteries. Is that going to be something that is. We don't see uh, it being problematic from an environmental perspective because most of the, um, the lithium within the batteries can be reused in, in future batteries. It's not a, a disposable um, product where it reaches the end of its life cycle after five years. So we should see uh, two things develop. One we think will develop will be an end market where you use these batteries for other, other applications. Things, for example, like um, commercial buildings like office blocks, I think you'll start to see them develop um, basements full of, of batteries so that they can buy cheap energy at night and then use it to power the buildings during the day. Yeah. And then secondly, I think you'll, you'll start to see a, a recycling of the, of the lithium in particular within the batteries for use in future battery technologies. Okay. So we use the same sort of, um, the space in the same sort of way as Ford do really. Under here you have your battery motor, uh, sorry, your motor and your controller. It's a 50 kilowatt permanent magnet motor, very, very efficient. So over a 
well into the 90s in terms of percentage efficiency, so we're losing very, very little power from the motor. And that directly drives the, uh, through the transmission, will drive the front wheel drive vehicle. The battery pack sits where the fuel tank would be along, along the underside of the vehicle. At the back? It's, it's roughly in the middle. Okay. Um, we use a modular uh, battery system, so there we package the batteries into seven kilowatt hour packs. Yeah. This vehicle has three fitted, so we've got a total of 21 kilowatt hours, but we've got an option for another pack, so we could in theory fit 28 kilowatt hours into this, into this space. Excellent. Well, you guys certainly know about it. You've been building the milk floats for many years. You, yes. you understand electric technology, so it's good to see that you've done a time with Ford, actually. Well, Do you think this is something you may be able to explore around the world? I think uh, we're, the relationship with Ford is developing on uh, organically very uh, very well as far as we're concerned. We started out really with a, an idea to, uh, that Ford were willing to supply us with the Ford Transit vans to convert and given the success of that we've now got an official, uh, what they call an official collaboration, so a signed agreement with Ford where we are their, their partner for the electrification of the Ford Transit and the Ford Transit Connect vans. And obviously we'd love to see that extended into some of the passenger vehicles like this one yeah. you see before you. Yeah. And the same in North America, we've, we now have an agreement in North America to deliver the Ford Transit Connect van uh, for sale. And that, interestingly, will be sold through Ford dealers, which will be the first time they've sold our vehicles through, through their dealerships. Right. Well, I wish you luck. I hope things recover. You deserve it, this Tanfield Group, like, you know, generally. Well, the... Uh, Tanfield as a whole has obviously uh, been impacted by the, the economic recession, the same as everybody else. A large yeah. part of our business is construction equipment. But the electric vehicle opportunity that we've developed now with Ford, with this tie-in, the, the concept vehicle you see here, and also the wider development um, projects we've got with them in terms of delivering their electric vans, it's an enormous opportunity. I mean, the addressable market in Europe is probably somewhere between 5 and 10% of the van population, so you're talking millions of vehicles that we could address. And the key for us now is how we execute, it's how we deliver and maximise that opportunity. Yeah. But the opportunity is certainly there. Well, I wish you luck. Thanks, Dan.